Hello, here again, Hobo Dia Show. Right here we have John McGuffin. Hi. <laughs> Why is that funny? I, I don't know. I wasn't <laughs> expecting it to be the Hobo Dia Show. That's why I have a hobo shirt on today. You oh, see this? Nice. Look at that. Yep. It spells it right there. H O B O. Yep. Look at you. <laughs> so, John, me and John are pretty acquainted. We're in FCA together, pals, which yep. is uh, Fellowship of Christian Athletes. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. We get to get together and love Jesus together and then yep. also be athletes together, you know. And John spoke last night. I did. It it's was uh, very nerve wracking. I, I was wondering. Because you're not a speech person. No, I was, I was pretty nervous, but, I mean, I got it done. Mm -hmm. What's your major? Uh, mechanical engineering. I knew that, too. Yeah. yeah that so means she, you're smart. She says she knows me, but, you know. I do, but I have to ask so that they can have the answers. Oh, okay. You know? There it is, yeah. <laughs> but I know you're smart because I know mechanical engineering. That's yeah. real. Yeah, um, really not not so much. I just work hard. I'm not That's really good at this yeah. bunch, so. Hard worker, very dedicated, Indeed. very organized. Yeah. I like my accordion folders for sure. Accordion folders? Yeah, you know, the ones yeah. that open up and there's you like... You still use those? Oh. For all your subjects? Every subject has two. Completed section, incomplete section. That's a great idea. It's, it's great. You guys should try it out. Mmm. Uh, what's it called? Advice Advice from John. Advice from John. <laughs> Make that a segment. Advice <laughs> from John. Accordion folders. But so you play soccer, but you're a junior. Yes, I am. In the on the field. Mm-hmm. Junior on the field, sophomore and a half in the classroom. Okay. So I'm behind. But when did you graduate? Twenty I'm gonna graduate in like twenty nineteen, I think. But when did you graduate high school? Twenty fourteen. Oh. Yeah. I'm on thought, on yeah. that five year plan. Oh. Okay. So you said you really like to play soccer. When did you start playing soccer? I started when I was three years old. Um, I've played goalkeeper my entire life. I uh, have never stepped off the or out of the goal, I guess, really, mm -hmm. other than for like fun. Every Which is now. ironic because you're the only player that can use their hands. And I broke my finger. Yeah. Very ironic. Um, so pretty, pretty funny, but also very frustrating. Yeah. You know. But other than soccer, you like to backpack. Yes. <laughs> so I love camping, um, backpacking. Basically, like, throw my entire life into a backpack and then just go for as long as I can, mm -hmm. you know. Um, do you do that by yourself? No. Um, it's not very safe to go by yourself. Yeah. Because, I mean, if you get hurt out there, like, oh. let's say I break an ankle. Oh, yeah. It's like, uh-oh. So you, you know? go with, like, friends or family? Yeah. So one of my best friends, uh, we go camping a lot together and, um, yeah. So my family, my dad's kind of out of shape. He would go with me, but, you know, needs to lose a few pounds first. Yeah. So where do you go? Like in Texas? Anywhere, really. Um, Texas is pretty pretty boring. There's places to go, but, like, the water's dirty and this kind of stuff. Like, I'd say the closest place that is pretty is Arkansas. Maybe, mm -hmm. like, the northeastern tip mm -hmm. of Oklahoma, if if you're feeling a little... Yeah. Oklahoma. So have you? So it's like a huge backpack, right? Like, it's do you sleep? Big. Do you like camping? You like have like your sleeping bag and stuff in there? Yeah, sleeping bag, backpack, tent, water, food, clothes. That's interesting. You name it. Yeah. It's I don't know if there. I would. That, that means you're an outdoorsy person. Definitely outdoor sport, outdoor camping. Indeed. I mean, obviously camping is outdoor. Yeah. Love but. fishing, <laughs> hunting, all that kind of stuff too. So. What's have What's the biggest fish you've caught? Oh, I don't know. Maybe like, I caught a red snapper one time. My buddy took me Ooh. deep sea fishing, Ooh. and it was really big. I, I deep have sea picture, fishing, you have to go on a boat. Yeah, yeah, and so you got to get to the deep water. Okay. So the boat takes you out. It was really cool. It, that was my first and last time I ever. Well, not last, but my first time mm -hmm. I'd ever done that, and it was fun. But I like to fly fish as well, and that's more like river oriented. So the the little fly. Right, you mm -hmm. don't. With every other type of fishing, like you cast with the weight of the the lure or the hook, mm -hmm. whatever you want to uh, use. But with fly fishing, you're casting with the weight of like the line, and so it just kind of floats through the air, and it's one that you like whip back and forth, and then you cast it out, and it sits on top, and the fish comes up and grabs oh. it, and, sh -sh -sh, and then you pull them in. It's pretty fun. See, because I'm from Corpus, you know this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the beach, so yeah. we go fishing, but. Not that much. It's in the ocean, yeah. Yeah, it's different. Okay, very and So different. we just go and we just sit there and let it. It's pretty boring, yeah. Yeah. I like but, it, but it's cool. it is boring. Cause yeah. That's why I like fly fishing, fly fishing is because you're constantly doing something. Oh. A lot of fun. So you've been, okay, have you ever been on a cruise? Uh, when I was a little kid. Oh. Yeah, family vacay, you know. 
You like the water and the ocean and stuff I do. Like that? I'm more, uh, if I was like, if I had to pick between rivers and mountains and like oceans mm-hmm. and beaches, I would definitely go for rivers and mountains. That's mm-hmm. way more entertaining to me. Have you ever hiked a ri- Like, when I went to Arizona this summer, we hiked on this little lake thing and we went to a waterfall. Have you okay. ever been on the, one of those? Uh, so the closest like thing I've done to that was I went to Yosemite with my family. Oh. And that's a national park in mm-hmm. California, and they have all these huge waterfalls. Y'all there. drove out there? Yeah, we drove. Well, we flew out there because I have uh, my grandma lives out there, mm-hmm. and my aunt and uncle live out there. So we went and stayed with them, and then once we were there in LA, we drove up to Yosemite. It was oh. like a four-hour drive or something. Like Yosemite, like the bear? Is that what it is? Yeah. Well, <laughs> Smokey the Bear. <laughs> that's what I mean. Smokey the Bear at Yosemite. <laughs> at Yosemite. Yeah. Oh goodness. Okay. Yeah. So it's a lot of fun. Yeah. I really enjoy it. I didn't even know all this. Yeah. And we're friends. So fun fact. Well, fun fact for John today. Okay, I have a question. Talk to me. How do you spell top? T-O-P. Okay, say top three times. Top, top, top. Top four times. Top, 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 top. What do you do at a green light? You go. Oh, he, <laughs> we almost got him. You almost I thought about it. it. I thought about it. Can I do one to you? Okay. Say silk three times. Silk, silk, silk. Now spell it. S-I-L-K. Okay. What do cows drink? They don't drink milk. Look, you were close. They they let the milk. I got one more, one more, one okay, more. Come on. Okay, okay. Spell roast. R O A S T. Spell ghost. See, you're getting at my dyslexia. I'm just gonna say okay, ghost. Okay, what do you what do you, what do you what do you put in a toaster? Oh, see, you know, you want me to say toast, but you put <laughs> bread in the toaster. I got you. I'm way on. Uh. Dad, dad jokes are my thing. I, I got to love the dad jokes. Okay, what's heavier, a pound of cotton or a pound of rocks? Pound is pound. Okay. You're John not, is just too smart. This mechanical me. engineering major for us. We're not even going to end with our three questions. What three questions? Oh, you want it? Okay. Let's do it. Okay. Name uh, three yellow fruits. You have five seconds. Yellow fruits. We got lemon, mango, um, banana. Okay, ding, 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 ding. Mangoes are on the inside yellow. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Name three Disney Channel shows. Disney Channel shows. Uh, Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, uh, Hannah Montana, and... Ah! <laughs> you get one more. One more. One more, because you're one and one. So this one's the determiner. All right. Whew, okay. Got to have a good question. Good question. Okay, okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Name three sports that do not use a ball. Hockey, cheerleading, uh, track. Cheerleading is a sport, though some might say it's not. Do you remember when we played uh, <laughs> when we played Family Feud last yes. year at FCA? Yes. And we were like, we were playing Family Feud. We had all of them on the board except for one. Or and then like we were stealing. And I was like, guys, it's got to be hockey. Like the number one answer wasn't there. And like so everyone's like, oh, we didn't think about that. We all got like super excited for hockey, hockey, hockey. And then like the girl who's in the front of the line, she's the one who says it, and she just goes, cheerleading. <laughs> Like, and we're all looking at each other like, what the heck? And goes, <laughs> Oh, goodness. Anyways, we have John McGuffin here. Next time, we'll catch you again on the Hobo Dia show. See you later. <laughs> yeah.